If you're watching this, this potentially means you could come see me at a show. Here are the dates. You should come grab a ticket. The link is in the description. Let me find another way to tell you that I'm upset more of the story. Life's a bit batshit. Hello, underachievers, and welcome to the No Offense Tour Diaries. This is a little tour of my first ever tour, which was in September 2021. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, hey, Noah, it's September 2022 soon. What are you doing? Well, we are doing it all over again. That's what we're doing. These shows are going to be bigger. They're going to be better. I promise you that. I have learned a lot from this tour, and I've learned a lot from my tour in the US. I am so excited. So we ain't got my couple cool romance, but we got this guy over here. We right. fucking love Pete on bass. <laughs> 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 on drums? Yeah. Oh, we also have me, I'm here. Yeah. I always forget to introduce myself. So, so, baby. Uh, Don't die. Oh. Do a flip. <laughs> Send it. Go on, big energy, big smiles, big fun. Big energy. There's a high There's a 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 so this part is always my least favorite part of playing any show ever. I, for some reason, I mean, I don't think it's that weird. I cannot stand waiting to go on stage. I don't get stage fright when I'm on stage. I don't feel nervous. I don't feel awkward when I'm on stage. But just this part beforehand, I cannot explain the amount of anxiety that I feel before I go on stage. But it's always fine when I go on stage. <laughs> Slam dunk leads. This is the morning after my friend Luke's wedding, so you can imagine me being very tired. Uh, we actually had to get a train down from Edinburgh all the way to Leeds to play the first show in Slam Dunk, and I can't lie, I was exhausted. I was very tired. McFly played a secret set before me, so I went on after McFly, and this was my third ever show. I, I did not know anything, I had no confidence, and I had to follow McFly. That was fun. Here's me being really stressed out. I did not want to be filmed at this point. What's up, Rose? Yay, sir. So something about festivals that you may not know is that they're incredibly stressful. Time is really tight. Everyone's panicking all the time. Everything goes wrong. There's always issues with sound check or with technical difficulties. And, you know, let's just see how that goes. <laughs> to tell you that I'm upset more of the story life's a bit batshit I can't lie this guy at the front in the blue and with the cap was keeping me going this set we actually walked on stage and our microphones weren't turned on and it was really embarrassing but you know the set picked up a bit after that and I guess it was a learning experience as they say I really hate learning experiences I can't hear anything it says. 
sounds like you're saying throw up. Hello, I'm vlogging. Today I played a show and it was uh, very terrifying because the sound check was so short, I couldn't hear myself. But then I did it and it was fine and fun. There were technical difficulties. And no offense difficulties, but everyone was really nice. I met some nice cool people and they said nice things. And now I'm waiting to have my first ever in-person interview with Rock Sound and then Kerrang. Day two, slam dunk. Cheers. Jeez, I'm so enthused. Cheers. Hello, today I'm vlogging. We're going to slam dunk day two in Hatfield. Not a vlogger. That's Connor, that's Will. That's Matt. <laughs> 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 they look a bit tired. There's Mark. So here we go, slam dunk day two. Let's see if this goes any better. Let's hope the sound works. Full pop punk mode. Back to Back to I was feeling a bit more confident this day because the sound actually worked and also because my two buddies Phoenix and Sol came to watch me. Here they are. Let's have a little look at them. Oh, they're beautiful faces. actually terrified for this because I did not get to hear any of the music through my in-ears it was all just through the speakers and I could not hear anything I like to forget about this Dull Skin are great though they're a great band I just that was terrifying festivals scare the shit out of me I could not hear Everybody myself at all. Oh, you know, uh, this is, you know, the festival's over, isn't it now? Oh no, it's not. We're doing interviews. Okay, okay. Jesus, yeah. More interviews. Under an hour. Are you filming? Hello. I, I need to go on vocal rest because I'm very tired. My voice is very broken. Phoenix taught me some sign language. And you're all doing alphabet. So useful. <laughs> I will do the alphabet in. BSL <laughs> King. is a legend if you didn't already know he plays with Don Broco he plays with Dodie he plays with Orla Gartlin so we got to watch Don Broco backstage at Slam Dunk while they were headlining so straight into Join Us Southampton this was my first ever headline show on tour and I was kind of nervous about it I was exhausted I was really tired my voice was screwed 
we keep going though we keep moving and i think we played a really good show this was the show that made me realize how fun it was to play a show first day of tour i had sam dunk yesterday and the day before and my voice is ruined but now i am signing lots of posters with my name and then i have sound check and then i have vip and then I have the first show. My mum's bringing me vocal zone sweets, things. Apparently they're good for helping your voice when you sing. Two, <laughs> so I would, 2,000 pop punk playlists on Spotify. Yeah. So not as I need 2,000. Yeah. yeah. 2,000 more than that, you know. No. Yeah, it's taking that. <laughs> This is uh, the queue. Thank you all for coming early. So here are the VIPs picking up their VIP merch. Pretty much what they get is they get to enter the venue early. They get a QA, and a They get a meet and greet. We get to take pictures. Also, you have like early access to the stage and to merch. But it was really nice. This was the first VIP thing that I had done before and it was really great meeting everybody. Everyone was so friendly. It's so intimidating. <laughs> <laughs> you can sit down. I mean, we just stand there. I feel like that's a lot more. You're not like sitting like a circle like you're in green school. I'll sit down. Is that good? Everyone's down. Much Oh my goodness, I'm on film! Yeah! Oh, film Bears and Treats! Hello, Bears and Treats! Hello, Bears and Treats! Oh, it's so nice. Oh my gosh. That was fun. That was nice. So, on to the first show of the tour here in Southampton. It was sold out, and you know, let's have a little watch. Really protect your sad obsession You must have learned all they did to do your hands for weapons Oi! It is so hot in here, I literally think because it's so hot My strings are going all fucky-wucky uh, But that's okay, everyone's strings go a little fucky-wucky every now and then I'm shorter than my mum. I'm the same height as my dad. This is so overwhelming. Any, any, any they them say Ayo! Oh my god, we got so many they them's in the house. Any he him say Oh! Any she hers say Ah!
why people love playing Dixon. Because I was more excited than scared. And, 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 festival's terrifying. But that was the best. Hi, Mom! Hi. Come. That was fucking awesome. <laughs> that was so that fun. So Come and hug me. I, I I'm disgustingly sweaty. Oh, that's why I don't want Just sit on it. anything. I don't care. I love you. I love, <laughs> love you. Love you too. So Corey is like half naked. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I think I can carry ah, more. <laughs> sure. Let's go. <laughs> I'm back at the hotel. After the first gig of Tom. Um, I've got like red stuff on my face. It's like red. I don't know if it's sunburn or if it's from my mask. The tan. The tan. The tan, right? Yeah. The ta it's a tan, not burn. Well, call it a turn for now. The tan from Slam Dunk. I'll give him a toll. We've got a walk in wardrobe. Perfect size. Got, got a bathroom. Accompanied by a bath. Mirror. I'm in that bedroom. Bed. Sofa. Television. One division. Manchester Deaf Institute. This was the biggest show of the tour, only by a little bit, but the vibe definitely felt very different. I had a great time. I had a bunch of friends come down and watch me. Hello, today is day two of the headline tour. Last night was so cool. And now we are in Manchester Deaf Institute, which is really cool venue. It's really cool. Look, we've got a desk. We've got a, a rack. We've got a fridge. We've got a mat. He's, he's making toast. Never touched that. We've got got a got a fridge full of alcohol that I'm not gonna drink any of. Um, microwave for my beans because I'm gonna make beans later on because I brought beans. And then uh, got a bathroom. Got a bedroom. It's like a whole bunk bed thing. Uh, beds and trees. This is their like dressing room. And then. We go downstairs. We go to the stage. We go to the stage. Find the step. Oh, we're going up. We have to carry everything up these steps. It's like three flights of steps. And then here is the bend. Big disco ball. There we go. <laughs> Seriously? Cool. Thank, Thank you so much. Cheers. Right. Hello. Um, yeah, we're done. I've just got to write something on a piece of paper. I'm not good at art, so... I'm Neither am I, sorry. and I did not do this. Did you? Oh, my God. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> good God, it's going to be fun today. Woo! <laughs> Show go, guys, show go. Find another way to tell you that I'm obsessed more of the story. Life's a bit batshit. I'm just like a box of stock instead I'm never gonna get. And I'm stuck trying to fix the nonsense that's in my head. So many ways that I could say. So why can't I even think of one? Just say something and break the silence. Community, are we going to have fun today? Wasn't that fun? Wasn't that really fun? Love you. Love you. I love you all. I love you all. I love you all. 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 Love you all.
到你。Some jazz hands in here, please. Can I see the jazz hands, please, Mr. Lightman? Can I see the jazz hands? Can I see jazz hands, please? Can you turn the lights on so I can see the? Yeah! I love jazz hands. This is my fourth show in a row, and I never toured before, so I'm very tired. Had our day off in in Manchester. Look, we have a toilet in the toilet. We've got a uh, we've got a shower in the shower. We've got a mirror and a mirror and then another one. Oh, oh, over here. Got another mirror over here. And we have a double bed with a bunk bed. I, that would have been cool to sleep on. And then like a tiny a, a little TV and. Some little coat hangers. This is actually adorable. I really like this room. You could live in here. Feels like being in a Black Mirror episode. But today we are playing Bristol. And I'm so glad I had a day off because my voice was so dead. It's still a bit dead, but now it's less dead. And this shower, I have just sat in it for lots and lots of time because as soon as you close that door, the entire room steams up and that's good for your boys. So, yay for little showers. Corey took his shoes off and he's in the shower now. <laughs> What's all this then? Hello. <laughs> oh, God. Did I, pack, did I pack my blanket? I'm pretty sure I packed it. If I didn't, they'd tell me, Put your butt against the glass. What? Put your butt against the glass. <laughs> <laughs> so, here's us leaving the Manchester Hotel. We had a day off in Manchester, which was quite nice. Apart from, we tried to get Pizza Express and they did not let us in because they did not have enough chefs. So, solid 3 out of 10. But, you know, Manchester itself is nice. I've never been there before. Uh, and here's us in the lift, and I am very short. <laughs> what like this? Oh. Oh, oh shit. Just go like this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. My biscuit doesn't fit. So we're, 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 I'm allowed to write my name on the wall. So I did it very, very big. And then, and then he wrote baby, plus baby, 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 trees, baby. I guess. <laughs> and then a little hello. Very good.
so fun. You're actually the first lot to actually do a mosh pit. Congratulate, Congratulate yourselves. Can we, we have, have a bit of clap for us? Can we have a bit of ah for us? The EP just came out and I just got a bunch of messages saying I'm in lots of Spotify playlists and and the the, the head of the Locker playlist New Music Friday, the Locker, All New Rock, the Rock List and more. Fucking hell! <laughs> Let me rest. This is good, but Ah <laughs> uh, Okay. As you can imagine, we were very, very tired at this point. We had played four shows in a row, had one day off, and we didn't really recover. But yeah, here's us on the way to London, and here is me being very grumpy after a nap. A nap. So what we're practicing here is for this final show in London, we decided that we would make the middle of stupid a bit longer and ask people to sit on the floor and jump up when the chorus hits in. What actually happened on the night is that we accidentally cut the track. So we played the last half of the song without all the like sound effects in the background and all that stuff. That's fine. It was worth it. And we'll do it better next time, all right? What nobody tells you about hometown shows is that they are incredibly stressful. I had filled the guest list with my friends. Some of them had lost tickets. I was trying to get my family in, all my friends in. And it was just a lot of pressure. I had a little bit of a cry. Favorite Taylor Swift album? <laughs> <laughs> God. Somebody else can have Swift. That's what I thought. I need to get the album now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am an enjoyer of Taylor Laurie loves Taylor Swift. Like, with passion. Like, love, 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 love
fucking shit. Is everybody good? Everybody having a fun time? Good. You angry for that You've gone and fucked it all And didn't you need your hands through a butt? Woo! Didn't you protect your sad obsession You must have turned them all And didn't you need your hands through a butt? Didn't you could have learned your best set You must have learned it all And didn't you need your hands through a butt? Didn't you could have thanked you for that You've gone and fucked it all And didn't you need your hands through a butt? My EP, Stuff From My Brain, had not been out long. It had been out two days at this point of tour, so nobody knew the lyrics. Thank you, Phoenix. Apart from my buddy, Phoenix. Yeah, Phoenix! Tell me the secrets, and I'll tell you my promise I won't go home. I promise I won't go home. Such a beautiful thing That the world is not gonna dance in Trey, what plays will not be to hide But to fight is my heart that we can't stand What can we do? We can be widows, widows, widows We can be widows, widows, widows We can be widows, widows, widows We can be widows
sing very loudly because my voice is very tired and you can sing very well! Please! And thank you! Everybody ready? Everybody ready? Gonna get some eyes, please! Nice. I think I had enough, I feel like giving up And I don't give a fuck, but I don't know I don't know what I want, or if I got a buck Before I had a fuck, I think I don't know I second guess is I'm stuck in my doubt Started to feel like I lost my way out Scratched all my itches and itched all my scratches I hate to admit but I'm stuck to my mattress Second guesses are stuck in my doubt. Ready for another pair? Second guesses are stuck in my doubt. Are we ready for another pair? Second guesses are stuck in my doubt. Started to feel like I lost my way out. Scratched all my itches and itched all my scratches. I'm stuck in my mattress. Now what do I do? a little sneak peek of our night out. But that's the end of the video. If you've not seen me already, come grab some tickets. If you have seen me already, come grab some tickets. I'm super excited and I'm very ready to see your faces.